Hello, hello, this is me, Lisa Trenton and Brown, and I'm going to apologize for the darkness of the video, but it's night time for me and I'm trying to use light, and natural light and brightens and fake light doesn't, obviously, <laughs> and so our light is brighter and on its own, but um, I have a few topics I'd like to talk about and share, um, different perspectives on. And for those who um, may find these interesting or of assistance to them, um, I think it's important right now and um, because of what uh, everybody's been going through the last many months. Um, yesterday we had a massive, powerful um, portal activate. Um, it brought through power, um, inner strength power, external um reality, power structures falling, um, as the inner uh, structures come down, um, and our ability to embrace a vast amount, a intensely exquisite amount of power from inside and bring it up and out, um, and utilize it for the sake of this uh, physical experience here. And so the things that in the quote past and that we would have um, experienced and maybe um, given our power away to or lacked the amount of strength that we needed um, in order to stand up and say no. Um, totally gone, obliterated with these, um, quite the interesting experience to say the least. <laughs> um, but many recently um, have mm, over the last few months, it's been very noticeable, a lot of the energies that we have been clearing. Um, when I clear, I clear for myself and the collective, so I will actually go bring up a vast amount of power intentionally and bring it up and out, um, because the more energy we release, uh, the more we assist everybody from a space of consciousness, because we are all at one. So when we raise in consciousness and hold a certain uh, frequency here, uh, the more light we anchor, um, and hold from within, the more we embody here, the more um, everybody gets to benefit from this. Um, every time we assist another in raising their consciousness, uh, everybody benefits as well. And so it's the beautiful, um, beautiful um, part of being unified and, and through consciousness. Okay, now, um, which takes me into the unified field, uh, one of my favorite uh, topics in the quantum field, um, photonic. Um, quantum particles and, and all that we are and what's going on inside our solar crystalline body and quite interesting to physically experience here quantum jumping at an all-time high on a daily basis now um, very cool um, multiple realities um, available in any given time mm. The, the thing about it is is that as we become more multidimensional and we actually physically experience here, um, I've been playing in these realities uh, for mm, in the physical open-eyed state um, human time um, for about a year and a half. Um, mm, the first time it, it occurred, uh, I was at the trunk of my car and my higher self, um, mm, I expanded as my higher self in, in the words where you just leaped quantum leap, and that I was um, so far beyond this time and, and from the future that nobody was going to understand a word that I said, and that didn't matter, that I had a job to do, and that I had to speak the crazy stuff, and I had to say and um, whatever came forth, and I had to share, and that started me on my rampage of um, embracing crazy and, and bringing everybody um, beyond the veils um, that was ready. And remembering um, uh, the the land of the forgotten is the words that I used to speak in um, at that time, and that in the uh, Galactic High Council um, that came through from within me, and all of that that used to be quote channelings, and, and just became a frequency that we held in our knowledge, and and then others came through, which was quite um, beautiful. The angelic realm, um, the I call them Lyran, Lyran, uh, whatever you, you wish to speak the. Um, um, Arturians all um, at one point were a frequency that I would hit and tap into and bring forth channelings. And then all of a sudden I wasn't um, tapping into anything. It was coming from inside of me and radiating out. And it was it was who I was. They were my memories. It was m me. Um, never left anymore. And um, so as more come to... Um, 
embody these frequencies of our memories of who we are. Um, and things get quite interesting to say the least. Um, we bring forth ancient knowledge from inside of us and it's ours. It's our memories, it's us. Um, and everybody has this capability um, as they start to embrace, uh, as they anchor light, as they upgrade with these photonic light uh, frequency activations that are going on inside of them and out there as well. Uh, it's microcosm, macrocosm. You can't have one without the other. And actually it's um, more than macro, micro. There's a, another one um, that goes beyond this uh, universe, uh, multiverse, other universes, uh, galactic, whatever. Um, all of them. So um, you have the inner world, you have the physical outer world, and then you have all of our existences, ancient and beyond here. Um, that uh, for me, when I see, I see in all uh, three or, or more. Um, okay, didn't mean to go off on all that, but apparently that's where we went, because y'all know me. I just kind of wander into what comes up. Mm. I came to talk about um, many things, and apparently I'm going to. Um, Mm, mm. Since we activated the God particle, mm, God consciousness, uh, last June, uh, when we hit that frequency, when I upgraded to that one, whoa, you talk about huge. Um, I didn't know we did these things. I don't know until I do them. I don't have anything out there that I see. Every All of mine comes from it within me, and then I share it. And I was told to do that. A long time ago, cut everything out to make a, the that which I um, brought forth and pure, and so I did. So it's not tainted um, by anything. Um, I have no idea what goes on out there a lot of times, but and that's okay. Um, we have to completely cut out the outside world, and we have to go so far inward, and we have to bring up and out everything that we find and see, um, and then beneath. All of the old human stuff comes forth our ancient knowledge and existences of us so far beyond here as star beings, um, as crystals, as Lemurians, Atlanteans, all of that, and so much more. Um, galactic beings, all of it comes forth. Um, we're not one thing, we're all of them. So in any given time, in our frequency, we can shift and we can be... Um, one thing and the next will be the next. Uh, it's pretty cool. One moment I'm a mermaid, next minute I'm a galactic being, next moment I'm whatever, I'm God, um, because technically we are. Um, all of us inside. Um, no separation as source. This is us. Um, okay, so There has become a very visible dividing line, a division between unity consciousness and separation consciousness is what I call it. Um, it is a, um, a space of consciousness that we occupy uh, depending on where we exist from at that time. Um, and this moment by moment, um, for a lot of people, especially those who are still, still clearing up uh, dualistic realities and duality from within, um, the that out there and me versus that and them and, and good and bad and right and wrong and all that kind of stuff that went so far out the window a long, long time ago for many of us. Um, now I can't speak for another. All I can do is speak for myself um, and, and my own experiences and y'all know and that's what I do as well. Um, I do see a lot of people out there that are speaking the same language now, which that's really cool because for a long, long time it seemed like I was the only one talking my language and, and all by myself never that way. That's just the way we perceive it to be. But, um, unity consciousness and, and separation consciousness, these are huge right now. Um, we have those who operate from a space of the words unity consciousness um, th that are working to embody, um, but they are still very much in their head. So unity consciousness is a word uh, that is used and not a way of being yet. Um, the visibility of one who is not unified has become huge. Those who primarily exist from a place of unification, a place from their heart, a place um, that 
Um, as unified beings, we walk as the unified field. No separation. We walk in the frequency of we. It's who we are, and there is no separation um, there at all. Um, now, there is the individual us, um, and this is where our balance comes in, as be, being able to be the new hum, human here um, and be pure um, without all the old um, hiding uh, in, in the way, without the old belief systems and existing beyond the veils. Um, we don't go unconscious anymore, haven't for a really long time. Um, we are conscious in every moment. Um, every moment is with intention, is spoken with awareness. So we know exactly uh, what is occurring in every moment, and we choose. Um, now, there is was there are a lot of old belief systems and misperceptions of how this journey is supposed to be. Um, there is a way that this is supposed to be anymore. It is however it is for us. Um, there are universal guidelines, universal truths. There are universal keys and codes that um, once we um, activate them and hold them inside long enough, um, it is our ancient knowledge. And so um, I was observing today, because <laughs> somebody um, called me psychic the other day, and, and that's just such an old word for me, because I'm like, I'm not psychic. Um, it, I occupy many different spaces of consciousness here. And so... Um, it, it was cool, though, today as I was walking down the street and comparing the two and what the difference is for me. Um, psychic was tapping into a, a bit of information and having that available right then and then it being gone and it was back and forth. Or um, Some have always been very in tune, um, but I guess many see us as psychics, especially when I've gone into personal sessions. I can see the other person sees me as a psychic. Um, I don't do readings of, of somebody's future that is so up to us. I couldn't care less, um, only because we're masters. We're powerful. We're gods. We can create any reality we want now. Um, I hear many say that I came here with this contract, and this is my contract here. No, those went out the window, too. There are no more contracts. They're gone, obliterated with these frequencies here. Um, you get to write your own contracts. You get to clear the old ones out. You get to mark them paid in full. You get to um, close them. You get to um, be done. You get to say, uh, wow, I do, I'm done with that contract. I'm done with that person, that experience, that thing. Everything has a contract. The place you live, the city you live in, the um, frequency that you function at. You can mark that done. I'm done with this frequency. No, uh, clear this contract. Bring me a new one. Um, the more you can think of, the more expansive you can become, the more you can switch um, to a new contract. It's pretty cool. Um, now, with people, humans, um, higher self aspects, whatever you want to call them, other multidimensional beings, other beings here, um, you can actually rewrite the contracts. Um, one day you can have a contract with somebody one moment and say, okay, that one's done, uh, let's start a new contract from this point on, this is our contract together. Oh, tomorrow... I'm done with that one. Let's go with a new contract. Man, I have gone through changing contracts with people so many times. Um, if you're not ready to let them go, you change the contract of how you are existing in this space and time together and, and what your function and purpose together is. It can change and all you want it to. You're not fixed to a reality here. Nothing has to be the way it used to be anymore. You get a choice, which is really cool. And so... Get creative with contracts and start utilizing them to the full capacity that they hold. One is to fulfill them, be done. Uh, why? Just because you can. You don't have to wait for permission for anything anymore. All you do is do it. And that's human and to wait and hold on. Um, didn't come in to talk about any of this. Y'all know who I do. So apparently, uh, <laughs> I'm going back. See if I can ever accomplish the conversation of uh, unity consciousness and separation consciousness. Okay, I'm going to try to do this real quick. Separation consciousness. I, me, mine. I got to do it by myself. I got to survive. I can't share. I don't know how. Not open up. Protection mode. Um, 
No community. It's it's me or them. Um, no sharing. It's really sad to observe somebody with a limited human mind. And not really, but it makes us look back to our own existence and see how we, uh, we did it too. And everybody did. It's never not been a part of who we were. We all had to transcend it and not be that way anymore. Now, uh, the, I'm going to use opposite of uh, separation consciousness um, is mm, unified consciousness, unity. Um, Christed consciousness, unified field, same thing. Um, when you have unified so much inside, when you have unified your heart and your mind, when they operate at the same frequency of love and light, um, there's no separation between the two anymore. They work in tandem, together. Um, everything we do is from a place of love. We don't have the capacity for anything less. Now, do we have strength? Oh, yes, we do. Um, we can, um, we have a massive amount of strength inside of us. Um, and I've had to pull, it, pull the strength card out a few times with those who are very strong, too. Um, we don't have to go into arguments, we don't have to fight, we don't have to uh, engage in anything other than just to um, pull out our strength. We can do it quietly and silently, or sometimes we have to stand up. Um, if we chose a contract with another where they're very strong, if we are maintaining boundaries for ourselves, and it's important, we do have to pull out the strength card. Um, our power, our inner strength, our inner power, we have to utilize it. That's the divine masculine here. We merge them and unify them so we can be uh, any one um, at any given time and not one. We can be both. We can be strong and soft all at the same time. Now, the heart is soft. Um, so you can tell the difference when one's heart is open. They're very soft. When one's heart is closed, um, wow, this is not much fun because the mind... It gets very small and very fixed. It gets very um, limited and can only see one thing. And being around humans is really, really hard when you're unified. Uh, we either have to just observe it and say, okay, I can respect your reality and we step away. And we can try to show that there are so many multiple realities and perspectives and dimensions to choose from. And that one is not limited, but I've had a few people tell me, sorry, I, I don't want to see that right now. I want to live in my very limited world and leave me alone. I'm like, okay. I know suffering has to come with that unless the person can open up to see. Um, we have to respect uh, whatever reality they need while we respect our own. This is where balance comes in. And we have to maintain both. Um, we have to respect both, and we have to honor both, and we have to hold integrity for both, and we have to not allow for anything less in our world while honoring both. That's a balancing act, to say the least, but it's very necessary, and we call forth many souls to teach us how to do this, and that's the beauty of it. Yes, we did. We activated them, we asked them to come forth, um, and then... Um, we utilize uh, the experience for what it is. All right. Unified field. We walk as this. We are never disconnected anymore. Um, our mind and our heart are unified, and therefore our field is too. Um, are we more expansive uh, than others in any given time? Yep, we are. Um, that's because fields contract and expand. Portals... Um, get activated, vortexes open up, and when they start opening up, it is quite cool. And I have markers that tell me what's what, and I can see, feel, hear, all of those. Um, you'll have a heartbeat inside your head or your solar plexus or other um, vortexes inside of you, chakras, and there are galactic ones as well. Um, when the heartbeat starts, you know that, that, that um, vortex, that wormhole, uh, that dimensional portal is opening up. Now, the cool part is that you don't really have to do anything. You just have to be aware. You just have to pay attention because then things will start coming forth to you. Um, you can go outside and sun charge. You can open them up. The solar plexus woo, opens up huge. Take some vitamin D if you don't get enough sun. Um, I take vitamin D and get sun. I like getting jacked up. <laughs> Y'all know me. I'm a light anchor. That's how we function. I am the sun. 
um, entire body, everything, inside my head, the entire universe, I listen to it as well. Um, plasma energy, um, as we expand, as the light body tunes, um, the zap zap, um, the misfiring, the expanded senses, uh, t telepathic um, experiences, the energetic communication, um, all of this is a part of it. And when our t light body starts to tune, um, our solar crystalline light body, all three, not just one, um, and more, um, as we start to tune up, um, our body expands as, as plasma energy and our brain um, will, um, the electromagnetic energy will build um, our brain, the neural pathways uh, will open up and um, the pineal gland um, the explosions in the head, the lights that come on the third eye, the merging of the three eyes uh, to uh, walk in multidimensional in an open eyed state um, the anchoring of the uh, new illusion, the seeing uh, beyond the current one, the uh, changing of uh, programming um, at will, all of that is a part of this. And um, there are uh, keys and codes to, to be able to do this with, e do, do this with ease. Um, we activate the memories of how to do this. Um, it's our mastery. Um, the more conscious we become, the more we can activate all of the dimensional versions of ourselves. Um, that's a fun one. Um, we can uh, move about from multiple dimensions um, in the physical. Now, um, we could see multiple dimensions present. Excuse me. We've been activating a lot of light today. Um, but it's quiet. Um, so um, it's not the blasting that um, most have become uh, accustomed to the last... Uh, many many months I know I've hopped around and I've touched on a little bit of everything but apparently I'm supposed to be so um, God consciousness uh, this was the uh, from what I see and experienced this was the um, other part of it and next part of it um, mm, that came through yesterday uh, the God particle which has uh, come through each time I see in quantum physics uh, as I experience this and I write and I share um, in the unified field, we walk, and this is us, it's who we are, our photonic um, light and particles inside of us, they actually, it's like photonic ping pong or um, pinball machine inside, our cells move about so fast, we don't have the density left inside that hold everything, um, held everything fixed um, to a certain space, it moves around, and you know that realities are all being reprogrammed in that moment, and, and you're transmitting, and you're quantum jumping, um, sleep, I want to talk about really quickly, because it's really important, heavy, 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 heavy sleeps are, um, many things, um, but when we've activated a lot of light inside, we have to go to sleep, um, there's a lot of clearing of old timelines going on. You cannot quantum jump without clearing the old timelines. You have to do both. You've got to go to sleep. You've got to sleep for hours and hours and hours. It's a heavy sleep, and you're not going to remember anything most of the time. You're not supposed to. The intention is to clear. Lay your body on the left side, and when you go to sleep, if you want to do it with intention or see which way direction your body goes, um, and ask, I want to clear timelines, Let, let's do this, let's get this done, clear, 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 don't try to remember them, you'll get stuck in them, nobody cares. If you are meant to remember it, you will, um, it will be very um, pronounced, and there will be a message, in it and, and you'll, you'll know, and so don't even bother with the rest. Um, all of these are simultaneous realities, and they're running right now, you're just accessing them and clearing them out. Um, Unity consciousness, we, uh, this is us, we, 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 and this is the only language we speak um, now when we have to, quote, separate off in order to have a human experience with another, uh, we do have to go into I mode sometimes in order to claim our boundaries and say, um, I cannot tolerate that here, or um, yes, I would really like that, we do exist, we have to find a balance between the two, um, but predominantly our existence is as we we share we communicate communication wow this is huge lately a human can't communicate and 
when it is forced to communicate, all this energy builds up and it feels like it's being squished and pushed into a place it doesn't want to be and being forced into something. And there's no forcing. And there's just open up and talk. There's nothing to hide anymore. Transparency, translucency. Um, open, 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 open the heart up. Open the mind up. Let it all go. Nobody cares. It's your judgment. We don't hold that here. Um, we're all trying to assist each other. Um, but we can't assist one that's not open. And we have to step away and let them do their journey and, and come to when they're ready. Um, but... Uh, those embracing ascension and who are ready, um, we are um, assisting them as well. Um, putting the journey first. Um, all, everything you have in, in supporting this um, is the absolute most important thing uh, that you can do. Um, one of the topics that I have been seeing and understanding and experiencing is um, ascension is abundance. Uh, the, the higher, the more you ascend, the more multidimensional you become, the more abundant you are. You're tapping into multiple um, dimensions all at one time. You're working in them, and you're bringing them all here, anchoring them in, and it's a physical reality. Um, so uh, we invest our money in ascension. We support ascension. We uh, support other, others. Uh, the way showers, the light workers, the others doing this, we support each other. We, we um, Every one of us had our struggles. Uh, we came to understand that we didn't have to struggle anymore. That was a belief system. We let that go. Um, but we also do um, appreciate those who actually step forth and support us and, and help us out. So we don't have to do it all by ourselves. It's a tiring experience. We get tired of it. But we also understand we're not limited anymore. We're not limited to anything. And we never run out. Everything comes that we need. Um, we appreciate every, absolutely everything, and it is a gift. And these are gifts we've bestowed upon ourselves. And the gift portals um, have been opening huge lately. And it appears, oh, excuse me, that I'm going to yawn. I did this the other night a lot, so I guess I'm going to go pretty soon. And I will do another one of these um, at 26 minutes, so I'll do a couple more minutes, and then I'll go. Um... As unified beings, we share, we assist, we come together, we use what we have to help others, but not from a place of lack. We do it because that's what we're supposed to do, but we also do pay attention to the energy of others, and when they go into take, take, take mode, or they lack respect, we have to put our foot down and say, no, that's not okay. We have to pull back, we have to stop supporting those who are, have gone into me, me, me mode and start taking for themselves and are not contributing. This is a contributing reality. Everybody contributes. And the beautiful thing is everybody's got a heart, and all you got to do is open it up, and you'll find something you can contribute. This isn't about the value of what you're contributing. Everything is valuable. You have something, and you have yourself. And if you go all in, if you put yourself in there, then you're going to have something to contribute that's going to assist others, and then others gonna, are going to have what they to have to contribute. And then everybody works together and nobody suffers anymore. Nobody has to do it by themselves um, and, and be um, alone. Uh, we do this together. So um, the division between separation consciousness and unity consciousness is has become very huge. You can see it. Um, and it's not tolerable to a lot of us anymore. We're not accepting that as a reality any longer. We're saying no. And we're actually um, releasing those from our field that are not open um, to participating and contributing and being unified as well. Those who want to live from their head and, and choose a human reality to experience and suffer to, um, we've gotten okay with it and we allow it and we keep moving and we, we leave the door open. Um, but I have one that keeps coming forth and is still separated. And after about the 12th, 14th, 15th, 20th time, I've had enough. And I'm like, you know what? Not okay anymore. Um, I will give it a while and we'll see. Um, but um, the string um, that keeps us connected is very thin. Um, we get over it. We get done with it. We um, don't take it anymore. We have to open up a space. So those who are unified can come forth. If we fill our world with separated beings, 
then that means that we are that separated too. If we open up the door and to want to step out of separation and into unification, then they'll open their hearts and they'll come to you. Um, we don't lower our vibration. We don't step down. We don't go back into the old stuff to say, here, let me stay here and wait for you to catch up. But the human mind is really slow and chaotic, and it has to think a lot. We don't. We're just, boom, done. Um, and that division has become very um, visible as well, um, because we're just, for me, it's been uh, quite the challenge to wait for the human to catch up. Um, by the time they think about it, we can be done. We can quantum jump into another reality and, and have obliterated that one. So th for those who are quantum jumping, um, being around humans is really hard. Uh, they're very slow um, because they still want to think about things and they want to exist from a place of fear. They still want to um, utilize the old belief systems in order to do what they're here to do. And we don't. No, we let it go, we jump, we, we hop, we were gone. Um, and so the line between the realities is, is quite visible right now. Um, and I know that there will also be emerging in a unification as well. Um, we have to let go of everybody that holds separation, that's not willing to unify, come together, share, support, be a part of the, the new earth realities that we exist in here. Um, when it's time, if they're ready, they will come forth. Um, you cannot have a reality with other unified beings and hold on to those who are separated in your world. Um, this is a reflection of our existence here, which means that we do have to let go if we want to open up a space for something else to come forth. Um, I've had to do this on multiple levels of, for many, many things in my world. Um, and I, I'm very excited of what is to come because it's magical and it's amazing in pretty much every moment. Um, there are moments that we um, are not amazing and we get through them really quick. Um, it's even faster now. And the last few months was very intense for everybody pulling up all those ancient energies from far beyond here, getting them out of their body, clear, 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 um, get right back, um, but never lose consciousness. And we did it with intention. Um, I do want to mention this because it is so huge. So many of, and I will include me in this us, um, went back to alcohol or drugs for a brief moment to get through some of the rough stuff. Um, some people um, started beating themselves up, and they actually got stuck in it. Um, we don't beat ourselves up. We don't add on a new um, energy to have to turn around and clear. We do it with intention. Me, I actually went and got a bottle of wine. I, it was interesting. And I'm sharing this because it's going to help others. I don't care. Judge it if you want to. That's yours. I don't judge anything. I claim absolutely everything in my reality here. This is what we do. We own it. It's ours. It's beautiful. We can experience this however we want to. You can ascend and do whatever you want. Um, I ascended a year and a half ago. I don't know. A long, long time ago. In the physical, yes. Um, doesn't mean you still don't have a human experience here. It just means you're pure. Um, you don't hold on to the old stuff anymore. Um, you're clear. You don't have karma. You don't have anything you're creating to have to suffer to anymore. You're just bringing up old ancient existences and timelines and clearing them and you're done. Um, I went and bought a bottle of wine. I had some huge energy had to come up. I had some deep, deep, deep core stuff that these diamond frequencies activated um mine's predominantly lemurian and when i can identify it um huge stuff had to come up and go the fastest way for me to bring the walls down inside of me and just bring it all up intensely was to go get some wine now the cool part was i intentionally drank the wine i intentionally brought the walls down i intentionally cleared the energy cried got it out went into whatever mode i needed to I never lowered in frequency. I never separated off. I never lost my higher self aspect. I stayed unified. It was really cool. I drank, got the energy out, went to bed, slept it off, got up the next day with a massive hangover and wanting to shoot myself and say, why would I have done this to me? Now, that created a whole new thing that I had to look at. Why would I have allowed myself to get in that place? Why would I have somebody in my world 
that was going to trigger that within me? Well, because I chose it, I created it, I am the master here. And it was my world, my reality, but it also said, I'm done. I don't need that person here anymore if this is the way I'm going to feel. I had to actually start to choose to be happy and not compromise anymore. I was compromising because I was put, um, so focused on assisting another that I lost myself for a brief moment, but not really, because I did it intentionally. I knew I was doing it at the time, but it didn't um, have balance with putting me first as well. And so I've had to actually do that and say, you know what, not anymore. I'm going to put me first while I focus on everybody else and while I do my job here, while I anchor light, while I sleep, while I do my private sessions, while I assist those who are embracing their ascension journey here, while I work to reach more, and while I help those who are serious and who are willing to choose this world over their physical one. That's a huge um, activation as well. Um, that has to occur. Mm, so many don't want to, and um, which means more suffering has to um, be endured, and we understand that as well. Okay, so I'm going to get on beyond this because I like doing happy, cheery things, and you know what? Um, this is happy, cheery times because it is absolutely magnificent and exquisite, and I wanted to touch on a ton of things um, because they're very important, and um, hopefully they'll help somebody else um, experience in some of these things no matter what you experience, don't compound the experience with creating blame, shame, guilt on top of that, or judgment. Let that go. That's an old program. We don't hold that energy here anymore. Recognize it as energy, and it's got to go. Get it out of your body. Get okay with absolutely everything that has occurred thus far. Get okay with ascension. Get okay with everything. you got to get okay with it if you're going to let it go and move on. And unify inside, because in this moment, none of that exists anymore. It's gone. Um, our human mind holds on to it. We have to shift into our heart. As soon as we shift, we don't care anymore. It's gone. So, figure out a way. Um, put you first. Um, get your sleep. Um, nurture. Get out in nature. Put your body on the ground. Hug a tree. It doesn't matter um, what you do. Food. No more rules. Eat what you... Whoa, frequency just kicked in. That was loud. Okay, this is about to get fun because those activate uh, lucid dreamy, cool stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, so, uh, yes, I'm sparkling. I wear a lot of glitter. I love it, and I sparkle when I go, and it's lots of fun. And everybody that watches my video goes, yes, you're sparkling. Yes, I am. I'm the glitter girl. I'm a mermaid. I'm a fairy. I'm all those things, and I like to sparkle. <laughs> it's a sparkly realm, okay? All right, I love you all. Mm, so far beyond this place uh, it is uh, a beautiful thing that we um, come into now 2015, no I don't do years but yes, we have jumped again um, we have jumped into a completely new timeline huge, huge huge, get ready um, because uh, realities as you once knew them will cease to exist and um, we are going so far beyond uh, the old human uh, perspectives um, obliterating it all um, again and the biggest part of it is that yes we are so far from the future we are so far from the ancient past we are so far from beyond this place time doesn't exist it's not a future it's not a past it's a space it's a dimension it's a um, it's energy that's it once we go back to energy form we never forget um, becoming energy again. Becoming, this is just a space we occupy. This, this is how we exist. There is no way to explain it thoroughly or adequately. The human words are so very limited here. Mm. But, and for those who fall asleep when I speak, yes, that is a light a activation as well. And, um... <laughs> listen to it often and go to sleep and you'll integrate it and, and, and absorb it into your energy field because I speak to multiple dimensions of you all at one time and the human one operates at the lowest frequency and it can't take uh, all of the knowledge that you're taking in uh, your other uh, multiple dimension of you is getting it though and when you go to sleep you can integrate it um, as a, the multi-dimensional uh, version 
or aspect that you are. And you'll wake up with new knowledge, you'll wake up um, with new awarenesses, you'll wake up with new, 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 and then that's what this is. So, I love you. Aloha and mahalo, and have a magnificent everything um, and magical times we are in, powerful times as the old structures come down. Abundance, unlimited, gifts, you name it, yes, this is who we are. This is what we radiate out. It's not a thing we achieve. It's who we become. It's what we are again. So, aloha, nui I shall see you very soon. Peace.